Hey y'all, what it do? It's your girl Viva K, and I'm back with another video. And this time I'll be installing a synthetic lace frontal wig unit. And y'all just gotta see what it's giving. Just stay tuned so y'all can see what type of wig it is this time. I think y'all gonna love this one. So I'm just doing my bowl cap method. I used the spray two times or two layers and just blow dry it and make sure it's not coming off. Make sure you secure the back too, so go ahead and sew that down so that it won't be lifting up when the wig is on. And no, it don't have to look perfect, just make sure it's secure, okay? Yeah. So yeah, just start cutting your ball cap into the shape of your natural hairline so that everything can look exactly how you want it. Okay, so here's the wig unit, y'all. It's called Boss Lace. And the style is New Locks. Okay, premium synthetic. Y'all see that? So my brother got me this wig for my birthday. And I told him when I install this wig, I'm definitely going to do a video because I never did this before. So I said, you know what, bruh? I'm going to go ahead and install this wig and hook it up. I said, this video right here going to be the one you know so yeah the baby hairs on this wig was baby hairy i'm telling you i love the baby hairs on here like you do not have to curl them with your flat irons or none of that it already come the exact way you want it i'm trying to tell you y'all better come get y'all one of these because this is real cute so yeah it come with two combs in the front and one comb in the back and the lace it was given hd it might be transparent but it was definitely given HD. And you can also wear this wig glueless because it does come with a strap in the inside. So you don't have to, you know, glue it down. But I just decided to glue it down because I'm going to have it in for a few days or a few weeks. I don't know, depending on what it's given. But yeah, let's get into it. So I went ahead and got this lace tint, something that matched my skin tone. And just went ahead and sprayed the lace. I did the inside of the lace and I also did the outside of the lace so just so it could look as natural as possible. Okay, y'all get what I'm saying. So right here I'm just trying it on before I start laying my glue layers down and just making sure it fits the exact way I want it. I just wanted to make sure I didn't have to cut no extra lace before I started gluing it down. But y'all, let's get into these baby heads. They already come curled. Like, that looks so cute and natural. Like, it's really giving my hair. Oh, stop playing so much. This is my hair. So, go ahead and get y'all alcohol AJK. and wipe down y'all forehead so that all the oils will be gone off your forehead so that your glue will lay right. And I decided to use Boho Active and I used four layers of it. So, I'm going to speed the video up a little bit, but I used four layers and I made sure it dry clearly for each layer so when you're applying your glue each layer should dry clear no white spots okay you can use your blow dryer to speed up the process but make sure your glue is completely dry and you'll know because it'll be clear like this so i went in here and did my second layer rub that in and then i just followed the same steps four times So this is my last layer applying the glue and let me just tell y'all this boho active it lasts forever 
No, I'm just playing. It lasts at least four to six weeks. Like, my clients love this glue. I do, too. But I said I was going to try that Erica J glue and see what's up with it. But this one right here has me in a choke hole. But I'm going to definitely try hers out, too, because that's my girl. But, yeah, get your blow dryer and go ahead and apply that lace. Y'all, look at how this lace about to just melt into my skin. Like, you can't tell me this not my hair. It was definitely given natural hair. Like, for this to be a synthetic wig, y'all, I was so amazed. I definitely get this a 10 out of 10. Especially for the way I'm about to style it. So now it's time to pull that elastic band out, tie it up as tight as you can, but don't give yourself a headache. Just tight enough so that, you know, your glue and your lace is melting together. So right here, I'm just sewing the wig down because I felt like it was just too bulky at the top. So I just stretched the wig, you know, as far down as I could so that it can be laying as flat as possible. But make sure your braids are very flat. So I'm going to say you need about 10 braids for this wig because you need small braids. And for this part of the sewing down the wig unit, I use regular sewing thread because regular sewing thread is much thinner than the typical thread you'll use to get a sewing so get you some sewing thread that you'll use for clothes and just go ahead and sew it down or i mean you could use a bobby pin too but it's not gonna last as long so i recommend just getting sewing thread I like to use the eyebrow razor to cut my lace because it gives you that perfect natural cut. Like not the scissors type of cut because that will be straight across, but more so like a zigzag motion type of cut. Y'all see.
what it looked like after you cut your lace so you can't really customize your edges how you want it because the weft comes all the way to the front of the wig on the sides so just more so play around with the baby heads at the top because the side of the wig will be you know covered so i decided to do like the invisible lock type of style because i was like this wig is cute but let's style it up a little bit let's get a little hip and transform this wig into another you know style so this is how i decided to do my wig unit you can keep yours the way you want it but i thought this style was just so cute and yeah so this is how you'll do it twist it down and you'll twist it look like a rope so if it don't look like a rope you're doing it the wrong way like i did the first one so i had to take it out and do it over but then you'll start twisting it upward and put a rubber band on it. I use two rubber bands just to secure it for the entire time that I'll be having this hairstyle on. continue that whole process throughout your entire head and once you get to the, your about fifth sixth seventh lock you'll start to see the style coming together so yeah just continue them two strand twists around the whole head AJK, 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 AJK. Y'all see what it's giving? This is my real head. Stop playing. This is just so cute. I love it. Wait until y'all see the finished results though. Like, I'm gonna do a whole 360 and let y'all see the whole entire head. Like, this came out of my scalp. Who's gonna tell me otherwise? Oh, okay.
is given that girl okay let me go ahead and finish this other side so y'all can see i'm excited already They should be looking like ropes these two strand twists so let's get into it so this is the front the baby heads i didn't have to do anything to them for real just yet i'm just showing y'all what it looked like before starting the baby heads and i went in with my nairobi hair mousse and i just went ahead and did the baby hair that's all you need you don't need no edge control for this synthetic wig all you need is that mousse and it's going to do the baby heads exactly how you need it or want it. So as y'all can see the front of the wig where the hairline is on the side. You can't really style your hair with no updos because you'll see that. So that's why I decided to do this hairstyle for this wig. I felt like it was perfect for this wig because I'll have my hair down the entire time with this style. So yeah, I did do my baby heads because I wanted to show y'all what it was given with the front. But choose a hairstyle where you're wearing your hair down with this wig unit. Okay, so now it's time for a 360 view. So yeah, this is what it's looking like in the back. Yes. And then I'm gonna just go ahead and show y'all one more time because it was just so cute. Like this looks really good to me. For it to be a synthetic wig, this wig was definitely wigging. I would get this wig again. I would definitely get this wig again. So I highly recommend this wig for all my baddies on a budget. If you don't want to spend five to seven hundred dollars on the wig, get this one. Okay, so I went ahead and tied my hair down so it won't look as bulky. Um, so I can get it as flat as possible. So let's see what it's given. I think I do the baby hairs over, I'm sure. I can tell you already. But that's fine. The baby hairs was easy because it's like they already came. I ain't have to worry about curling them with the flat irons. So let's see if it's given. Okay. Much better. So make sure y'all tie y'all's down. I use two scores. Make sure y'all go ahead and tie y'all's down. That is much better. So I'm about to go ahead and do the baby heads, fix them up a little bit. And show you. I 
was trying to get them Betty Boop baby heads. Y'all feel the vibes? All I used was my Nairobi. That's all you need. You don't need no holding spray. You don't need no edge control. You don't need no jam. You don't need no gel. All you need is some Nairobi, and that's going to get you the look that you want. Thank y'all so much for watching this video. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this with y'all homegirls. All my baddies on a budget. Make sure y'all go grab this wig. And I'll have the info down below where you can purchase this set if you can't find it at your local beauty supply store. Bye.